So by now, we already know the automotive industry is a very competitive industry, okay? So we're stuck in that moment now that people are actually shopping online for months and maybe years before actually making a purchase. They look at reviews, they look at different cars, they build and price their cars everywhere. And so how can you and your dealership can align your message with the customer journey. The first thing you got to do is you got to identify who is your dream customer. Every single business out there has a dream customer. So as of today, I want you to start thinking about who is this dream customer of yours that's more profitable, that will buy in a short window of time, okay? That won't take a lot of your resources. And actually, how can you generate more of these dream customers through various channels and various online campaigns? So I'm sure you already know it's not easy or it's almost impossible to see who is, go as, who is actually going to buy from your website, right? Because they start as visitors. We don't know who they are before they submit a lead. And even then, I, it is, you're, we're really short on information. So we got to start building a relationship and start like building a bridge between us and our customers to make sure we can better serve them and understand what they need and to see if we're, we're the right fit as a business. Most likely they already research the vehicles they, they want online and they're looking for more information they cannot get easily. Whether it's a test drive, whether it's financing, whether it's just maybe some people just have genuine questions they should, um, they're trying to you know, understand before they actually make a purchase. So what if we could find a way to craft our message both on the website and on our online campaigns or offline, by the way, um, to make sure we find and attract more of these dream customers of ours, okay? Maybe your business is not about giving away your vehicles and uh, not going for volume, okay? And it's perfectly fine. That, would, that wouldn't be my approach either. But at the same time, if every single marketing piece of your business is about price right now, you're most likely getting price shoppers. And maybe if you want to stay clear of that, you got to change your message in a better way to like to to attract your dream customer that's the profitable type of customer so now the next step is we need a plan to actually uncover what's what's our dream what's in our dream customer's head when they're actually shopping for cars is there like your 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 goal by now should be to start thinking and start qualifying and start asking your customers something else about price what do you enjoy about like buying a new car today Funny story, I ran a, a quick survey recently online and I was asking about the main frustrations when people would buy cars. What, what was the main frustration? Why people hate to buy cars or to visit dealerships, right? Um, because most, of, like, most people don't really like that, they enjoy the process, they want a new car, they enjoy that part. But actually meeting and like showing up in the dealership is bad news for them. The funny thing is, when I asked that question, I, I got like hundreds of response and like maybe 2% were about price, okay? Everything else was about the experience, the pressure, uh, like playing games, like the back and forth negotiation, negotiation a little bit. Um, and uh, I, 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 like the thing I did and I'll do, so what you got to do now is actually take a, a piece of paper and a pen and write down the top five frustration moments of your potential clients okay and i want you to start addressing this like if they're spending too much time in the in the dealership how can you shorten the, the amount of time they spend in the dealership can you ask more questions up front before the appointment can you actually get more information a little bit more information to guide them in the right like path uh, if they want to lease why are you addressing the financing option people they already know if they want to lease or financing or to pay cash, okay? Like knowing this and qualifying your customer in the right way and asking the right question can cut down a lot on the time, time spent in your dealership. And someone who's getting to spend less time in your dealership and, ha and is having a positive experience is willing to pay more. So it's a win-win. Your customer is happy because they didn't lose the, the, the whole evening at your store and at the same time you retain a little bit more gross. So maybe that's one um, of your dream customers. And I want you to build this dream customer in, in, in your head. And it's going to be different for everyone that's watching this video right now. I have my own dream customers and you should have your own dream customers as well. So now I want you to start thinking about who is your dream customer. I want to start re you to start researching a little bit, asking a bit more questions. Just asking out of the, out of the blue. Um, just ask, just 
just asking out of the blue to your next client, um, you know what, aside of the car today, you've been shopping cars at other dealers lately and in the, in the past few years. What's been really frustrating on your end? What, do, what did you did not like about the, the, the whole process? I want to help you make this, things better today. I want to work for you. So that might be, you know, that, that might be a good question to ask. And I can tell you right now, it's going to take a little bit of time, but the more you, you, the more you do it, the better at it, you're going to be able to segment your dream customer and understand them. And actually you're going to be, as soon as you know who is your dream customer, you'll be able to attract more of these to your online campaigns because the message will change, right? If you don't want to wrestle over price with anyone, at least reduce the amount of people that are going to, you know, get in this game with negotiation and try to buy at cost. You gotta, you gotta modify your, your pricing strategy online. Maybe you'll get less leads, but at the same time, maybe you'll get even more sales or at least better profit. So if this is what you're asking for, that might be an idea and something you want to look into. And on the customer side as well, um, satis satisfaction and um, you know profitability will, will actually increase. Plus you'll probably get better CSI ratings as well. So it's a win-win for everyone.